Doris Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. A chance now to check out the Knicks' upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And then on Friday, they continue the road trip. Heading out to Detroit, they'll take on the Pistons. And guys, one thing about road trips like this one, they'll be seeing this as a chance for the team to come together. It might be a bit of a silver lining for a trip that doesn't always provide a lot of success. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. We've got Josh Hart. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Bridges, and it's Brunson in at the one. And for the Heat, Hero in at shooting guard with Butler at small forward. In the post, it's Jovic and Adebayo. And it's Rozier in at the point. Here we are early in the NBA season, and teams focus on situational awareness. Doris, what have you noticed so far this season? Yeah, Kev, these situations are really all about execution, right? Are players poised in late clock situations? First of all, do they recognize where the shot clock is? Can they adeptly and quickly read defenses? So those are some of the things I'm watching for. Now, here's Rogier. After the miss from Carl Anthony Towns. Rogier, the pass to Hero. Not three off the mark. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. We talked about facing a point guard like Jalen Brunson, and he told me Jalen's got a great sense for angles and knows how to attack if anyone's out of position. We have to stay disciplined on defense. Of course, Brunson will be the focus of their attention tonight. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Pass to Jovic. To the inside, here's Butler. That one's in his first shot this game. Yeah, Jimmy Butler playing with aggression right now, boy. If he touches the paint, he is thinking score. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Towns a screen on Rozier. Here's Brunson. Oh, that's blocked. And so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Brunson. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Butler against Bridges. Butler feeling out of it. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. We know Terry Rozier is a very assertive three-point shooter. He will not hesitate beyond the arc. And here is Bridges. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Towns finds Brunson. Shot clock at six. And Towns gets it to go. Well, Carl Anthony Towns will mix his spots as a scorer, that time doing work inside. And a fun run by the Knicks in the playoffs. But Doris, horrible injury luck ended their season. Kevin, borderline absurd bad luck for injuries. You think about it, Julius Randle goes down in the regular season. And then in the playoffs alone, Mitchell Robinson, OG Ananobi, and Boyan Bogdanovich all miss significant time. And who can forget Jalen Brunson getting hurt in that game seven? Almost unreal bad luck. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. GA, as you know, Jalen Brunson is a second-generation NBA player. Yeah, his dad, Rick Brunson, was an 11-year vet who also played overseas and eventually settled in shoot as a two. coach in this league. So Jalen grew up in those NBA locker rooms. First free throw is good. And Eric Spolstra, the head coach of the Miami Heat, receiving a record eight-year, $120 million extension. Greg, that's some big dough. 
<laughs> is it ever and remains coaching for the only NBA franchise he's ever worked for. Already one of the most tenured head coaches in the association, and that figures to continue for a while. And one thing among many doors that's so impressive about Jalen Brunson, time out, the time way out. he goes to work in the paint. Wow. Kevin, at his size, you have got to be crafty. You've got to have great footwork and great patience. You've got to be willing to work in a crowd. What he does is really impressive. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. He wants to talk to his guys. Well, a chance to check out Mikel Bridges here. A very nice season for him last year. He averaged about 19 points a game, four rebounds, and three assists. And what a luxury for them to have someone like him who can absolutely fill it up coming off the bench. I love it. He knows they're looking for him to bring immediate offense, and he very rarely disappoints. Outside Butler. Outside, Rozier. Good ball movement here by the Heat. To the paint. And it's Butler with the jam. <laughs> you love Jimmy Butler playing above the rim. That's a statement dunk right there. Knicks trail by four. Brunson, left side. And it's good off the back rim and in. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Adebayo with a screen for Butler to the middle. And Adebayo throws it down. Boy, perfect execution in the pick and roll. Butler always a guy who's going to draw attention, and he makes the unselfish play. Rozier against Brunson. Driving to the basket. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Butler with the ball. He's picked up by Ananobi. Outside Butler. Six to shoot. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. If best, Jalen Brunson. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Towns. Bridges outside. Towns a screen on Butler. Here's Bridges, and it's out of bounds for the Knicks as New York retains possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. For three, Bart, that's good. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. 
So what you look for in the first game, one, does one team make a statement? And two, how does the other team react to that? Two on the clock. That's a two from Butler. It's rebounded by New York. Bridges with it. Picked up by Hero. Brunson kicks to Hart. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, he'd have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Here's Butler in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And so it's New York with it. They trail by three. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with his guy. out some of the numbers here on Carl Anthony Towns. Great showing for him last season. And he'd make you pay every time he went to the line. Top 20 in free throw percentage. And one of the better three-point shooters in the league last season. And as you said, he was really good from out deep practically every time we saw him play. Bridges passes to Brunson. Pass to Towns. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. And this guy is exceptional from the charity stripe. You want a guy like Carl Anthony Towns who can knock these down as a big. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Towns. Doris, the way this Knicks roster was put together, they have a great level of physicality. Kevin, if you think about it, with the way the rules are starting to trend back toward that level of physicality, they've got an opportunity to be successful. They also have a big-time star in Jalen Brunson, so there's a lot to like about the future. And Dwayne Wade is the first Heat player to be honored with a statue. And, Greg, that's pretty significant for a very successful franchise. And, Kevin, well-deserved, right? D-Wade, the best player in franchise history. He helped bring three championships to the city. Plus, he's already got a street named after. Robinson for three. The Knicks pull it in. Towns in the corner. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Inside, here's Jovic, and he converts the layup. And the Heat lead by three. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Towns a screen on Rozier. And here's Brunson outside. Nailed from three-point land. Brunson's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. Pass to Autobio. Here's Hero. Adebayo with a screen for Hero. Back to Adebayo. Lock at six. Here's Jovic. 
trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Bridges passes to Brunson. To the left side wing. Towns against Adebayo. Bridges outside. New York needs to get off a shot. Towns, no luck. Miami's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. And Rozier, here we go. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, G.A. Adebayo came from very humble beginnings. Yeah, raised by his mother. And Kevin Bam's main motivation in life was to get her out of that trailer. He worked extremely hard and now arguably a top 25 player. No good on that one. And you watch Adebayo. He really has everything you could ask for from that 4-5 position. Not a stretch big per se, and that's partly why he shoots such a high percentage. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Sims has checked in, and Miles McBride subbed in for Ananobi. And the second free throw, good. And attitude plays such a big role in Adebayo's game. This guy is a worker. Doesn't mind getting his hands dirty if it means getting his team ahead. Now, here's Hart. His last outing, 16 points for him. Pass to Bridges. Brunson against Rogier. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, one of the last guys you want to send to the free throw line, Jalen Brunson has proven he can knock these in. The Knicks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's Take a break. nice all-around effort. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Well, Jalen Brunson plays bigger than his size. He's aggressive. He's going to go right at defenders. He doesn't care if you're bigger than he is. He will keep coming at you. And the Heat making a change here. Hawkins has checked in. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Pass to Autobio. Good ball movement here by Miami. And a wide open look for Hero. Miami no good on that time either. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Now Brunson. Nine points in the game so far. From the arc. Hakez with the rebound. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Stolen by Brunson. They push it up for on three. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we all know about what heat culture means. Bam Adebayo says we share the ball, play together, and we know where the shots are going to come from. We're just blessed to have a team like this. Everybody buys in, everybody competes, and everybody wants to get the job done. Kevin, back to you. They've got great chemistry. Thanks, David. How about that well-timed drop-off? Jalen Brunson just knows where to put the basketball. Robinson on the wing. Back to Rozier. Pass to Hero. Outside Rozier. Six on the shot clock. Robinson a screen on Brunson. On the wing, and it's Rozier missing. The Knicks leading by four. Here's Bridges. Hawkins defending. Shock up two there. Oh, Mikel Bridges with the big time strength on that finish. For Miami, they've gone seven to thirteen, just over fifty percent from the floor. Some good looks. Here's Hawkins. Last game he had twelve. Pass to Hero. Over McBride. Hero, no good. 
New York's gone three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. Here's Brunson. Bridges outside. Offline with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Now, here's Adebayo. He started close. And a fast break now for New York. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. And some changes here for the Heat. Ryan's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Butler comes in for Hero. And it's Burks in for Rozier. And uh, 101 left to play in the first quarter. Ryan sets the screen for Hakeem. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. On the wing, Bridges. Pass to Towns. And here is Ananobi. Back to McBride. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. The Heat trail by five. Now, here's Burks. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Towns. New York shooting 44% overall here in the first quarter. Now here's Payne. Burks covering. Payne with it. From deep. The shot no good. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? It just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. And this is why coaches say be aggressive. As long as you're playing smart, good things tend to happen, even if you're on the road. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a five-point game. And New York, looking at who they've got, Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Ananobi. Then there's Cameron Payne. Then there's Miles McBride. And it's Bridges.
averages in at the three. And awards now have a minimum amount of games needed to qualify. An interesting twist in this whole story. Yeah, and, and it seems logical because of the uproar from the fans and the media that they implement this. And, and how can you be that impactful in reality, though, if you only play half the year? And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. A moment here to see the stats for Butler. He's coming off an excellent season. Around 20 points per game last season five assists and five rebounds and you talk about defensive presence he's the real difference maker on that end yeah he's always somewhere around the ball finding ways to help his team by shutting down the opponents here's Hakez Ryan sets the screen for Burks a miss that time would have put him up the Knicks with the lead Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Towns. Some solid defense from Bryant. Ryan is on one or two on three corners here in the second quarter. So. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. The Heat shooting their third free throw shot of the game. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. New York shooting 40% from the field. Payne looking around. Bridges finds Ananobi. Back to Bridges. Six to shoot. McBride passes to Bridges over Butler. Bridges misses. The Heat have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Pass to Butler. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Over Bridges. Butler, no good. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Now here's Payne. He's tightly guarded. Towns sets the pick for Payne. Pass to McBride. Trying to get something going, and he makes that one. McBride's got five points so far. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Burks, the pass to Butler. Outside Robinson. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his fourth assist in this one. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all timeout, the confidence timeout. in the world right now from the three-point line. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Mikael Bridges. 
And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. Second, the Knicks. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound the backboard. Here's McBride. Five points in the game. Hart the pass to Payne. And the three ball is good. Payne's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, Josh Hart, the very definition of unselfish. How about keeping his eyes up and finding his teammate? And a nice shot by Bryant. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Now here's Towns. He's got six. Hart, no good. Outside, Butler. Ryan sets the screen for Butler. Over McBride. And it's Butler missing. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Now here's Payne. It's blocked. Here's Jaquez. Pass to Butler. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When it comes to players who like having fun, <laughs> Greg Jimmy Butler has to be way up there. <laughs> Kevin, did you see his media picture for the 23-24 season? He looked like he belonged in an emo band with that hairstyle. Jimmy is definitely one of those guys that likes to troll and have fun. And he knocks down the first one. What I love most about Jimmy Butler is his will to win and the capacity he has to take his teammates right along with him. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Adebayo is checked in for Bryant. Hero comes in for Robinson. And it's Rozier in for Burks. He doesn't get the second one. Boy, at his best, Jimmy Butler is a versatile scorer inside and outside. But what I will most remember him for, his competitive toughness. Now here's Brunson. Nine points in the game so far. And out of bio, sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bio. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch and that could be a real difference maker here tonight the heat making a switch here highsmith is checked in five to shoot puts one up from 19 they recover it how about the anticipation from terry rogier excellent defensive play For Miami, they've gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Adebayo kicks to Hero. Here's Rozier, stolen by Ananobi. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Brunson. Last season, he played outstanding and his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league is top five ranking last year. Puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. We throw good McBride. Hits one and misses one each at the line. The Heat with the lead. Highsmith the pass to Rozier. 
Hawkins outside. Outside, Hero. Clock at four. Some solid defense from Hart. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Hart the pass to Brunson. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Miami's on to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Pass to Hawkins. Hart against Rogier. Hawkins with the screen on Hart. There's Hero with the three. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. to Hook Porty. McBride with the ball. Brunson outside. And it's blocked. And they'll get another chance. Bucket is good. Hart's got five. That's just Josh Hart getting to his spot, being shot ready. Nicely done. Miami's gone three or four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Adebayo finds Rogier. Shot clock at six. Back to Adebayo. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. Adebayo's got the lead up to four now for Miami. New York's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo talked about how his mentality has evolved over his career. He said, shoot the ball. I feel like that's been my evolution. It sounds very simple, but I came into this league as a defender. I feel like the progression's been shoot the ball, worry about everything else later. Kevin? He certainly, D.A., is a two-way threat. Here's Rozier. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Pass to McBride. Down low. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Tyler Hero picks one up. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. The Knicks have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Mikael Bridges checked in for New York. Oh, 
He hits the second from the line. The Heat have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Adebayo kicks to Hero. And he drives in. Back to Adebayo. Five on the clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, great fake by Adebayo. Such a high IQ player. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. throw good out of bio that's also good so he hits both free throws yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Now here's Brunson. 11 points in the game. And it's blocked. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's Heisman. Brunson covering. Pass to Hawkins. And here is Rozier. Miami needs to get a shot off. Otobio with the bucket. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Hakporty. Still yet to score. Brunson. Oh, Brunson wheeling his way in there. That's toughness, that's ability to absorb contact and finish. That is Jalen Brunson in a nutshell. The ultimate glue player, Josh Hart. Doris, he plays way bigger than his listed 6'4 height. I'm going to be honest with you, Kevin. This is the best rebounding guard I've ever seen in my career covering the NBA. Let's remember he won a national title in college. He's willing to do absolutely anything to help his team win. You want this guy on your side. Now, here's Rogier. His last outing with 20 points. Drives to the hoop. Here's Adebayo. And checking out the numbers for Terry Rozier. Good season for him last year. He was around 19 points a game. Five assists and four rebounds. And when he takes over at the point, he really keeps the offense flowing. Well, this is a guy who brings a solid skill set. Excellent ball handler. High level of playmaking. The perfect backup point. And he makes the first. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. Towns, he's checked in for New York. OG Ananobi comes in for Miles McBride. And out of bio, drops them both. Knicks trail by five. Brunson outside. Pass to Towns. Back to Brunson. And Adebayo sends it back. And a menace defensively. Adebayo with the swat. He, he's an all-defensive team member for a reason. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Four on the clock. Outside town. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists tonight. 
A whole lot of everything from Carl Anthony Towns, the big who can stretch you from distance. Now, here's Butler. He's got seven. Back to Adebayo. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Towns the screen. Here's Brunson, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Terry Rozier. And he just seemed to have a little more fire in the first quarter than he has in this one, and it showed in all the trips he made to the free throw line. Those have dried up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. One falls for Brunson. Now Jalen Brunson approaches a point guard position as a scorer, and boy, this guy can light you up. And both free throws good for Brunson. 149 left now here in the second. Hero passes to Autobio. Pass to Butler. Good D by Ananobi. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Hart against Hero. Hart kicks to Bridges. Towns sets the pick for Bridges. New York, no good that time either. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. Towns, the pass to on and open. Hart kicks to Bridges. There's 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Lock at six. Magnificent rejection. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Highsmith, the pass to Butler. Hero against Hart. Adebayo with a screen on Hart. To the middle. And Adebayo throws it down. And how about Adebayo kicking it into high gear offensively? You got it. Brunson outside. Towns a screen on Rozier. He gets it up. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. And a huge three there to chop the lead down as we go into the break. Still anyone's game. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for the Miami Heat. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Well, Coach, this first half has been a struggle. What's been the problem? Lack of intensity. We're back on our heels. They're attacking us. We're not getting much done. I do not envy those young men going into the locker room right now. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Welcome to halftime, everybody. Right now, the New York Knicks are providing quite an entertaining and close game. They're really going to war for those second chance points, running guys to the offensive glass. It's a tight game. That could be the difference maker. As long as it doesn't hurt their transition defense. And guys, now let's see what games have yet to tip off. The Nets, out in Brooklyn, will go up against the Nuggets. That one gets going 7.30 Eastern time. This is a game everyone had circled on their calendar, especially me, and it's finally happening. I don't want to talk. Let's get going. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half.
We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You look at Bam Adebayo in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Here's Butler. In the forward spots, it's Butler and Jovic. The guard set is Rozier and Hero. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. This is how Adebayo typically gets his points. Off the roll, off the lob, or off the glass. And Towns throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, Hero. Here's Butler. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. There's a relentless effort from Jimmy Butler every night, and he's going to push through the foul and get his shot opportunity. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And, and you know, guys, he had a big okay. game take at the break. free throw line in their last out. Two shots. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. And here's Brunson. Pass to Chow. Bridges against Butt. Bridges inside. Some solid defense from Butler. Rogier for three. And it's Jalen Brunson with the rebound. Next trail by four. And here's Tao. Brunson outside. Back to Towns. Down to five on the shot clock. Ananobi kicks to Hart. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Pass to Buck. Good ball movement here by Miami. And, yep, that, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. And, and Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone Take even break. harder on Take it. Greg, I agree. He Who's better up? be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. The first one falls. No good on the second free throw. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Outside Butler. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. Here's Brunson. Now Hart. Just three to shoot. The kick out to Ananobi. New York, no good that time either. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Jovic, no good. Knicks trail by seven. Brunson scanning the floor. Brunson draws the double. Towns, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, battling hard. That's an impressive move by Towns. He'll go to the strike. 
We know Doris at Towns might already be one of the best shooting bigs ever. Well, Kevin, he flat stated and called himself the best shooting big of all time. He has an argument because not only has she shot the ball incredibly well from deep, even as his volume has gone up, his efficiency stays the same. This is a gifted offensive post player. What's striking about Carl Anthony Towns is resiliency. He'll bounce back from challenges. He's got a very impressive positive attitude. Now here's Butler. He's got eight. To the paint. And Adebayo throws it down. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Here's Brunson. The Heat getting the buck. It's deflected. And watch how Hero uses a burst of speed to get ahead of the shot. Managing to swat that one away. Inside. Here's Adebayo. And the layup's good off the glass. Adebayo's got the lead up to eight now for Miami. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field. Literally. Runs in the pass to want to know. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Rogier with a screen on Bridges. And the foul called on OG and an OB. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Fourth foul of the night. Now he needs to be smart. Can't reach in and pick up something foolish. Adebayo passes to Jovic. Now Rogier. Outside Butler. Four on the shot clock. Pass to Jovic. That's a two from Rogier. And another basket for Miami. That's just about awareness from the guard position. Terry Rozier doesn't get sped up. Hart with it. Back to Brunson. Bridges passes to Brunson. Let's it go from the wing. He had told in by Bam Adebayo. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Hero, no good. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Brunson outside. Here's the teardrop. And he lays it up and in. Brunson's got 17. Oh, that's a silky jump shot. Playing right over the top of the defense. Mr. Brunson, how good are you? Here's Jovic. Floats it up for Butler. Towns with the steal. It's Hart on the wing. He's covered by Hero. Hart, that's good. So confident in the painted area. Josh Hart understands how to score inside. Butler against Bridges. Adebayo the screen. Butler passes to Adebayo. And the rejection by Towns. Brunson draws the double. Bridges, no one around him. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. There's a screen. And they double up Butler. Just five on the clock. Pass to Jovic. Again, the miss by the Heat. Knicks trail by three. Now, Brunson. 17 points in the game. Towns a screen on Rozier. And here's Brunson outside. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. Now, Hero. Six points for him. Outside, Butler. Shoots over Ananobi. 
and all around the rim that time before dropping in. Butler's got 10 points. Well, sometimes the best strategy is get Jimmy the basketball and let the butler do the work. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. With a pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. The Heat in fifth. Yeah, knocking down free throws was a real specialty for them last year. Miami on defense, leading by five. Hart finds Bridges. Pass to Ananobi. Brunson right side. Brunson stays agile and finds his opening inside. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Burks with it. Bryant with a screen for Burks. The three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And Thomas Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Knicks trail by three. Now, here's Hart. He's got seven. Pass to Brunson. Some nice passing by New York here. Shot clock at six. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to go on Alec Burks. Oh, one of Jalen Brunson's specialties. The end one just being aggressive. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Heat. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Now, here's Burks. Bryant outside. Bryant with a screen on Brunson. Here's Burks. And Obi sends it back. Such an active, skilled defender. OG Ananobi twice on the pipe. Out to Bridges. Burks against Brunson. And here are the numbers for Robinson. Last season's performance for him. Last season, he averaged 13 points a game, three assists, and two rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. And that drops, so they now lead by one.
off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Hey, they're ahead, but if they don't get a stop here, that free throw could prove critical. Hero kicks to Adebayo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Bam invites so much contact inside. That's how he earns that trip to the line. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Knicks. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. First one falls for him. And out of Bayern, drops them both. New York trailing. Runs in the pass to Ananobi. Pass to McBride. Now here's Brunson. Puts the move on, and the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. And a lot of his points coming by way of the free throw. One falls for Brunson. Ryan's checked in for the Heat. Butler comes in for Terry Rozier. Ananobi passes to McBride. They double him with Bryant. Pass to Brunson. Back to McBride on the wing bridges. Shot clock at five. Here's Huck Porty. McBride finds Brunson. Off target with his three. Over in the corner, Hawkes. Back to Hero. To the inside. And Bryant gets it to go on the assist from Hero. Hero's got three assists tonight. New York's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Nick Bride passes to Brunson, and Butler sends it back. This guy's such a defensive leader. The intensity, uh, the willingness to put yourself out there, that's a nice block. Inside, Bryant, and it's denied. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. One forty-six left in the third. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Butler. And the rejection by Towns. Tremendous work defensively from Towns. His teammates love to see him send that thing back. It's Hart on the wing. Outside, Towns. McBride passes to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. And it's Payne in the corner. Drains it from beyond the arc. Payne's got six. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges, so willing to give it up to an open guy. Outside, Robinson. Here's Butler. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. 
boy with his power and explosiveness. When Butler gets inside, it's typically a bucket, a trip to the line, or sometimes worse. Both. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And so Butler nails both of them. New York's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Pass to Towns. And here is Hart. Bridges left side. And it's sent back by Bryant. Boy, you'd love to see more of this from Thomas Bryant. He has the length necessary to send shots back. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Miami trailer. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Butler. Payne covering. Butler with the drive and finish. This guy has got the whole arsenal as a wing. Jimmy Butler can slash to the hoop. He can make jump shots so hard to guard. And here's Payne. Pass to Towns. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Heat out front, up one. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Miles McBride out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. Then it's Bridges. And it's Hart in at the three. The small forward. To the middle. Here's Butler. And there's Butler with the flush. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Brunson against Butler. Brunson kicks to Bridges. Six to shoot. McBride shot is off. Well, he leading by three. To the paint. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Ryan sets the screen for Butler. Pass to Bryant. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Now it's a five-point Miami lead. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Bridges a screen on Butler. Runs in the pass to McBride. Out to Bridges. Towns sets the pick for Bridges. Hits the three-point bomb. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. The Heat shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Brunson against Butler. Shot clock at six. 
Hawkins outside. Robinson for three. Gets it to go from beyond the up. And the Heat lead by five. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Brunson. Launches it. And it's Miami with the rebound. Highsmith's got his fourth rebound in this one. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Oh, you love it when Thomas Bryant tries to finish with power. Forget about try. He does it. What a pretty dunk. And it's Brunson missing. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Robinson up top, defended by McBride. Outside Robinson. Over in the corner, Hawkes. Over Bridges. And another basket for Miami. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Now here's Brunson. Here's Towns, and it's sent back by Bryant. Marquez against Bridges. Outside Butler. Knocks it loose. Here's Bridges. Pass to Towns. Out to Brunson. Here's Bridges, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Hawkes. Doris, when you think of Mikel Bridges, what comes to mind? The fact that he is available almost every single night, that you can count on him to bring great defensive intensity. He's become a legitimate threat from three-point territory, and now all of a sudden he's adding some ball skills. Mikel Bridges gets better every single year. that one falls for Bridges. Well, what you love about Mikel Bridges is he is going to accept whatever his coaches and team ask of him. This is what's allowed him to be successful. Bam Adebayo's checked in for the Heat. Ananobi, he's checked in for the Knicks. Both free throws good from Bridges. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Robinson on the wing. Defended by Hart. Adebayo with a screen on Ananobi. Just five to shoot. And Adebayo throws it down. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus even as the game's gotten tight. You know, a few more possessions like that one, and they can put the finishing touches on this game. They just have to have effective trips like that one. And here are the Knicks now, after the Heat pick up two. And an OB outside. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. And they have been relentless from deep and you see the defense trying to react but to no avail well that's the whole point isn't it if you space the floor well enough it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone and Adebayo throws it down you can see why they go to this guy so often more often than not he's going to be very efficient like he is right here Bridges passes to Towns Hard against Robinson. Left side, Towns. The shot misses. Great tee that time from Adebayo. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Now here's Butler. Defense is right there. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. 
Knicks trail by eight. Here's Bridges. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And guys, this young man does such a good job keeping his balance on the way up to the basket. Mikel Bridges solid at keeping his composure. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Duncan Robinson. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Jimmy Butler. Bridges no good on that one. The Heat leading by six. Right wing. Here's Highsmith. And the three off target. New York's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. With a floater. Here's Ananobi. No good with the triple. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Oh, Hero. Hakez sets a screen for Hero. Rozier for three. Trills the three-pointer. Rozier's got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. How about the lightning quick release from Terry Rozier? Wow. Bridges deciding where to go with it. Brunson, left side. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Now this is what Brunson does so well, right? He keeps defenders off balance and draws that contact. And the first one at the line is good. And the Heat making a change here. Butler's checked in. Towns, he's checked in for the Knicks. Miles McBride comes in for Josh Hart. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Miami leading by seven. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. During that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He told them, pedal to the metal. He's adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Don't start celebrating in your head when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And here are the Heat now. Outside, Hero. Here's the three. Offensive rebound, Heat. And Adebayo throws it down. 
Second chance points kill you. It's a strength of Adebayo picking up the garbage and putting it in. Hey, yo, right here. Runs in the pass to McBride. Ananobi against Hockey. With the teardrop. And Adebayo sends it back. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one is on Towns. And one of the more active big men in our league. Adebayo never stops working. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good out of bio. So he gets them both. Knicks trail by 11. Brunson with it. Towns the screen. Down low. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Autobio's got 38 points. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Brunson. Good! Brunson gets through the contact. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Adebayo with the screen on Bridges. Back to Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. See, right there in the screen and roll, Butler showing the capacity to create for others. I love that. Brunson outside. Out to the wing. Adebayo against Towns. Lock at six. Bridges outside. It's up a three. And Rozier pulls it down. Rozier's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Outside Butler. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Over in the corner, Hero. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Knicks trail by 16. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Bridges. Back to Brunson. Towns at the elbow. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Adebayo. Miami leading by 16. There's 138 left in the game. Butler against Bridges. Outside Butler. Shoots over Bridges. And another basket for Miami. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Heat. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Bam Adebayo. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. McBride finds Brunson. 
Ananobi outside. Here's McBride. Outside, Towns. Bangs home the trifecta. The Heat on offense. They led by as many as 18 points. Pass to Autobio. Autobio the screen. Hero passes to Autobio. And he is no stranger to physical basketball. Autobio has to deal with plenty of contact down low. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Jimmy. Another home win, and I know it's important to make this a tough place for people to come in and steal a win. Yeah, uh, we don't want anybody to want to come here and play against us. We don't want anybody to want to play against us on the road either. Um, but I definitely think uh, the best thing we could do is win all the home games. Yeah, you guys are protecting the fort, man. Thanks for your time. Back to you. David, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And as we leave you, we give you our player of the game, Bam Adebayo.